The 90s were such a confusing time for music. It started with grunge and then it ended in bubblegum pop. But nevertheless, I mean, there were some iconic music videos along the way. From the cheerleaders and the creepy janitor and smells like teen spirit to the schoolgirl uniform that shook a nation. Of course, I'm talking about the one worn by Britney Spears and Baby one more time. But this video, however, is not about iconic. It's about weird. So let's take a look at some of the music videos from the 90s that had us scratching our heads. Nothing Really Matters, Madonna, 1998. So in the latter half of the decade, Madonna was exploring ancient traditions from Kabbalah to Eastern practices. That, however, does not begin to explain the video for Nothing Really Matters. I mean, yes, she looks fierce as hell in this short red kimono, but everything else is a giant question mark. Like, what is the meaning of the plastic bags filled with water? Who are the people in the white that are dancing like zombies? It, it could all just be in the name of nothing really matters, but whatever. It's Madonna. Her makeup is fire in the song. is highly underrated, if you ask me. Sock it to me. Missy Elliott in Debrat 1997. So if you didn't notice, late 90s and early 2000s music videos were all about the green screen. They also used a ton of CGI and space motifs. And the video for Sock it to me by Missy Elliott and Debrat were one of those gems. Some of it was familiar. For example, Missy was wearing an inflatable suit being filmed with a fisheye lens. Shout out to her video for the rain. But from there, things take a left turn. To describe the narrative could take me all day. But to sum it up, Missy, along with some unidentified sidekick, are being chased by robots who are shooting lasers at them. Luckily, Debrat comes along and saves them from this impending doom. This video is definitely a weird one, but to be honest, we love it. We're obsessed. One of the best videos from the 90s is Alanis Morissette's Ironic, and one of the strangest is her video for Thank You. It follows Alanis as she commutes to the supermarket, and for some reason, she's butt naked, and people randomly come up to her and touch her. My biggest question is, what is that glowing light that she's trying to touch in the bottled goods aisle? But also, gotta shout out whoever did her hair in the editor for keeping our 90s goddess modest. Thank you. But seriously, this video, it's like oddly beautiful. And if you haven't seen it since the 90s, it's definitely worth the trip down memory lane. Brain Stew slash Jaded Green Day 1995. So Brain Stew slash Jaded by Green Day begins in a sepia tone. It shows the band on the couch in the middle of a landfill. Nothing too weird. I mean, maybe it's a commentary on the environment, but then comes the hula dancers. What? And then cut to this lady lip syncing for her life. And then three quarters of the way in, there's a horse frolicking in the trash. And suddenly it turns from sepia tone to technicolor. And then this is where we give up on trying to figure this one out. And look, we're not judging. It's the amazing videos like this that keep Green Day relevant decades later. No Diggity by Blackstreet featuring Dr. Dre and Queen Penn. Oh, it is straight fire. If you play this at a party and watch anyone who lived through the 90s, they're going to go wild. Now, the video has all the hallmarks of a classic. It has a poppin' beach house party, gorgeous beauty shots, attractive people dancing and having a good time. And then there's this. How do puppets just pop up playing the piano and guitar and no one's going to address it? There is no other decade this video would have made sense other than the 90s. Again, though, we stand. Hooked on a feeling, David Hasselhoff, 1997. Okay, you know when you're drunk at a karaoke bar and then you grab the microphone and they play lyrics over stock footage that makes absolutely no sense? Well, take that and add David Hasselhoff and you have the wonder that is hook on a feeling. I mean, we should have known what we were getting into with the David Hasselhoff video, but wow. I mean, the costume changes are one thing. He goes from a fur Eskimo coat to a handsome suit in literally just a matter of seconds. And let us not forget the backup dancers who are actually angels descending from the heavens. I mean, the cherry on the cake here truly is his acting. While we were wowed by him manipulating these cubes, we were really taken aback by him flying with this flock of birds here. I mean, listen, this one, we're gonna go 10 out of 10 weird. Groove is in the heart, D-Light 1990. This video for D-Light's Groove is in the heart is perfect. It is the love child of two amazing decades, which are the 70s and the 90s. There's the psychedelic colors, floating heads, 
And let's be real, the people dancing are just having a great time. They're fun to watch. We love it. But the thing is, is the track Strange Lyrics is where the oddities begin. I mean, no, seriously, like, what is a succotash wish? Can somebody please tell me what a succotash wish is? Thank you. Also, is it just me or does this video look like vignettes from Austin Powers? Black Hole Sun, Soundgarden 1994. The video for Black Hole Sun by Soundgarden? Weird? Yes. Scary? A thousand times, yes. There's some sort of commentary being made in the beginning about this idyllic suburban life, and we're here for it. The video, though, oh my God, absolutely nightmare-inducing. But at least there is this cute baby goat, right? Unfortunately, while we have a cute goat, there's like this one fish avoiding being chopped by a cleaver. And then, you know, there's no way no cockroaches were harmed in the making of this video. Thinking of you, I drive myself crazy. In Sync 1997. Okay, so in the 90s, the video for Thinking of You, I Drive Myself Crazy by In Sync, perfectly normal. Fast forward to more than two decades later, eh, it's a bit problematic. I mean, the padded rooms, the straight jackets, ugh. Also, another telltale sign that it was the 90s, Justin's ramen hair. Blue Daba D, Eiffel 65, 1999. Again, Blue Daba D by Eiffel 65 is another example of the 90s infatuation with CGI and outer space. But to be fair, the song itself is kind of weird. So like, what were we expecting for the video? It's a song about a guy who is feeling blue. And then I guess the next logical step is blue aliens abducting the lead singer and taking him into outer space, right? Well, what's even more confusing is his buddies try to save him. But when they get to his mysterious planet, they just end up performing for more blue aliens that I give up. Now, before we go, let's make something perfectly clear. These videos are amazing in their weirdness and we wouldn't have them any other way. To the 90s, we love you and we miss you. Take care of yourself, sweetie.